I want to share something that I refer to as solving circles that you can use. I've used it with uh, four-year-olds. You can use it at any, at any uh, situation. In, a, in, an, in an elementary school, you can use hula hoops or you can just draw chalk circles. It's a Venn diagram. There are two circles and then a third intervening circle. Now, the usual approach is Alan, let's say, and Bill are having a discussion, really almost in a fight over the soccer ball. So Alan says to Bill, this is what you've got to do. And Bill says to Alan, this is what you've got to do. Now, in solving circles, since basically you've said nobody can change another person, the change really starts with yourself. Alan says, okay, to resolve the problem, this is what I will do. And this is where the magic almost comes in. Bill says, okay, Alan, if you're willing to do this, this is what I'm willing to do. Rather than expecting the other person to change in this non-coercive approach to resolve a problem, change starts with yourself, this is what I will do. There was a friend who hadn't seen a buddy of his in some time, and he ran into him and he said, hey, how are you doing? And the guy said, well, I'm not doing too well, my my wife has changed. I'm thinking of divorcing her. Oh, don't do that. His buddy said, listen, you take my advice. For six months, you treat her like a princess. You take her out to dinner, take her to the theater, buy her flowers, take her to the show. You treat her like a princess. And then when you divorce her in six months, she'll really miss you. And then get back to me. Well, he didn't get back to him, but he ran into him about two years later. Hey, did did you divorce your wife? <laughs> divorce my wife? Why would I want to divorce my wife? Living with my wife is like living with a princess. Who changed? I've been fortunate enough to be married to the same person for many, many, many years. And if I do something that ticks Evelyn off, the very first thing I'll ask myself is, Marv, what can you learn from this? Maybe the reason why I came back into education is I'm a learning person. I love to learn. I love to grow. And so I have learned to make lemonade out of any lemon. If I tick my wife off, the very first thing I'll ask myself is, what can I learn from this? It's amazingly simple and amazingly effective based on the simple idea The only person you can change is yourself.